Pilot, come. Sit. Look at walkies. Look at walkies. Oh, you're excited, huh? You're excited. Look at walkies. Oh, you wanna go, huh? Walkies. Oh yeah. Look at him. He's excited. Pilot, come. Sit. That's Pilot, the Vizla. He's my companion around the house. Oh, buddy. Walkies. Walkies. Oh, you're ready to go. All right. Me and Pilot are going to go on a walk. I'll take you guys with me. Pilot. Whoa. Good boy. You sit. Oh, boy. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going right over there to the base of that mountain. It's a nice area for Pilot to run around. Come on, buddy. This area for pilot, I like to take him on walks, we'll go up the mountain every once in a while. Maybe once a week we'll go up there and hike the trails. There's all kinds of trails all up the, around this mountain. Stay buddy. Go. There. He loves it out here. These ones are actually missing a coat and they actually get cold quite easily but for some reason Pilot is the champ. I don't know, it's probably about 20 degrees out here right now and he'll probably go for hours out here without getting cold. Come here. Good boy. Pilot only listens well because he gets a good hour of exercise every day. I believe that all dogs should get an hour of exercise every day. Pilot, what is that? I see something over there. Probably something moving. What is that, Pilot? As I was saying, dogs should get at least an hour of exercise every day. Keeps them you know, much more calm, especially these. They're very high strung dogs. Come Made it. We're going into the, uh, I guess, wooded area now. 
Of course, Pilot already took off. He's way in there. Who knows where he went? He loves it. Pilot, come. Oh, there he is. Pilot, come. Come here. What is that? Pilot. Sometimes you just gotta change the voice there. He'll listen. It's pretty nice. This is actually only a short walk from my my house, and it's nice. I uh I put him on the leash and I walk him over here. And uh, I don't know, I, I like to switch back and forth off leash and on leash. He was just on the leash for a few minutes. Maybe about five until we got up to this wooded area. And uh, I let him off the leash again. It's, it's good for him to learn on and off leash commands. Hi, hi, buddy. right here this dip that we're going down into right now this is actually a creek bed during the spring and summer it's all the way up it comes off the mountain it's away up there you guys probably can't see it but there's a the mountain this creek comes all the way down you drive until the city lights dissolve into a country sky just me and you how come what's that there's another creek. This one's actually running, which is surprising. Of course, he goes straight into the water. He loves it. It's weird that it's running. I guess the past couple weeks has been a little warmer. During the peak of the day, it'll get in the 30s, so... Oh, come Some water? Want some water? Want some water? No? Free as will never be. There you go. Nope. Too cold for you. Be. Looks like we're reaching the end of the wooded area here. It takes about 15 20 minutes to walk through it from end to end. about another 15 minutes back home. Maybe a little longer. That's all leash walk though. Yep, there's the bridge. Goes over a creek that this one, it's not gonna be running. I guarantee that one. Yeah. Definitely not going to be We are coming out of the woods. Go back home now. Just as Come here. Wait. Bye, Cobb. Thanks for coming along on our walk. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.